All right, 3623 Victor here in Brookhaven, PA, listed by Engel and Volkers. I think it's Peggy. Yes, it is. Uh, but this is interesting. I actually have one popping up in the back, not far away, coming up. And then the neighbor's house actually had that sold, uh, technically. So, <laughs> great pocket of Brookhaven here. I think there's some drone footage on my earlier vid video. I won't have time to do some today, but let's check this out. So we'll check out the yard. So very long driveway, which is nice. And for here, you have a flat, fenced in backyard. That's gonna lead right to the neighbors too. So you can see how theirs looks back there. Fantastic, pretty deep backyard. I'm just gonna go about halfway, show you that shed and spin around here. But look at that. So back entrance, AC unit there. And let's see, yep. Looks like there's a place for a hose. Some older siding there. We'll look at the disclosure. Looks like they might have had an off-peak meter at some point in time. But there you are. So decent side yard here as well. You can see the construction for the foundation. There you are. So gutters look newer, roof looks newer too. Again, we'll always consult the disclosure and everything I say in this video is, is my own personal opinion. But there you go, very simple and nice, white. You have the brick in the front and there you are. So let's head on inside. I do see a, a big bow window. So in we go, hand sanitizer, glove, mask, still uh, going that route. So hardwood floors. Looks like a, an oh, very light gray. Probably uh, just recently had this painted. Newer windows for the most part. They are vinyl and double clasp. It says vinyl guard. But there you are. It's a real open space. And uh, remember, there's, there's gonna be one coming up in the back there too. Momentarily. So no fridge with this one as it stands. Probably the original cabinets. I double check. Painted white, but they are solid. And uh, wall oven, dishwasher, cooktop there. Plenty of room in here too, by the way, if you wanted to put a table. Looks like they updated what they have here. Now this is cool, so this walks out to the backyard. So I'm gonna spin you around, just so you get the essence of how large this is. And, See the hardwood floors throughout. All right, nice little coat closet. By the way, too, I'll spin around. They did add attic access. So you pull down, you have access to the attic. That's nice. Many of these just simply have it in one of the bedroom closets, but not this one. So here you go. Bathroom looks updated as well. And then one, two, and three bedrooms. So here it is. Oh, that's cool. Very cool, yeah. So the closet actually bumps out from the footprint of the house right there. You can see it. So good size room here for what I'm gonna call bedroom number one. A bedroom number two, bigger than that bedroom. Looks like you have double closets here. I have an echo too. <laughs> and then bedroom number three. So you see the hardwoods, what they look like. Closet over there. Let's see what it is as far as the size. Oh, and there's your access panel or area for the shower. And there's your backyard. So that is the quick one down here. Let's show off that bathroom. So updated floor, I believe that's vinyl plank, double sink, updated toilet, and updated walls in here. Probably the original tub. Looks nice, neat, and clean. You know, if somebody wanted the color change, they do have people that will coat them. Um, so there you are. Again, looks like a newer toilet. And there you go. So that is the upstairs. And uh, I did not see this one yet, so I believe the basement's a full basement. And that's one of the benefits here. It is quite large and should have a half bathroom, but let's see it first. So down we go. It was finished. Carpet and paneling. This should just be the closet under there, under the stairs. Spin you around. 
again, without getting you dizzy. There's windows look newer too. Take you in the bathroom. Half bathroom, but all proper draining there, so nothing's lifted up. Sometimes they do that on a basement. And they have this partitioned off to be, oh, whatever you want it to be. Not sure about uh, the size of the egress windows, but you do have two windows there. High enough ceilings, a five foot 10, plenty of space. Again, my opinion, and a closet. Look at that. One of those cool little push button ones when they're plugged in. All right. Very nice. So remember, some people may consider this a four bedroom, the way it's set up. Now you have this entire area that is unfinished and it is open. Wow. There's your oil tank. There's the floor they actually used. Vinyl plank flooring. All right. Well, there you go. You can see everything, which is good. It makes it a lot easier. Over here we have the panel, I believe. Federal Pacific. Yep. So check up on some of them. This is somewhat older. The wiring looks newer. Uh, do your own due diligence on that. There's your washer and dryer. This is a rug unit. There you go. See the oil line. There's a sink here. Looks like some newer plumbing, updated. Pencil sharpener. <laughs> and what do we have? Oh, that bumps out there. There's your water heater. It's electric. And one more view of the basement. So that is it. And that bump out there is for the bathroom. So there you go. Hey, if somebody wanted to enlarge this, you probably would be able to. You want to add a full shower. Okay, so that is it. Let's bring you back upstairs. And again, it was 3625, Victor. If you look that up, You'll see some drone footage of this entire neighborhood. Um, probably back in April, I want to say. There we go. Back in this corner. And I'll leave you right there.